So I'm going to go in there. I had already brought over one of my courses, Lock Raven Golf and Bass Club. So it's now a, like what they call a legacy course. So if you want to import one of your legacy courses, you would go to import legacy course. Uh, well, import one of your courses off the TCC one. Your legacy course, and then it list all your courses that you have. Okay. You pick course, and you just pull it in. Now, as you see, I set Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday pins for each one of these courses. Now I can do that all on one course, which is a beautiful thing. So let's get in there. So the course I did take was this Lock Raven course right here. Okay, so we're gonna go back out. And go back to unpublished courses, and there she is. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep Thursday there. It'll just be Lock Raven Golf and Bass Club. And we will go to edit. There's a course. Now, I've already done a couple of these holes. So basically, I'm going to go to hole one just to show you guys how I did do the different tees gold, black, white, blue. Okay. And then your different pin placements. Okay. Of course, you can mix it up as you set your, your tournaments on your course. You could set, you know, white pins with pin three, or white tees with pin three, blue tees with pin one. Actually, I think pin one's over here, and so on and so forth. And so forth. All right, let's, uh, let's get back out of here. And I just wanted to show you guys how you do. Let's go here. Because this is what I was working on. I'm going to go back to the end of here. And what I didn't put in is my crowd. You know, by six. Okay. And uh, we're going to place objects. Global objects. No, I'm in the wrong thing here. Hold on. Tournament crowds. You want to toggle them on, and you want to place crowds, and it's just like any other tool. And basically, on this one, I'm going to use the bend tool because I want my crowd to kind of be around back, back here. And it's just going to kind of hang out here by the water and stuff. Okay. We got crowds there. We got crowds. Let's get, let's get a little bit closer here so we can see what we're doing. There we go. I don't want them on the walkway, but you, you know what I can do? I'm kind of sticking them through the trees here. And then I'm going to stick a line of them right down the, right down the road here. So we got our crowds. I'd already done it for up here, as you can see. All right, it shows you, you know, pretty much where the crowd's going to be placed, and it will place it around the object. So don't worry about covering up the objects or anything like that. All right. So we will get out of that, and just to show you. Kind of looks like once you got the crowds in. Okay. 
servers are slow today, guys. First day out. There we go. Okay, why well, don't I see the crowds? Do I not have them toggled on? Okay, hold on. There's a possibility I might be even on the wrong T box here. Hold on. Let's just play course in that way. It'll start again at the beginning. There we go. And there's your crowd. I'm probably going to line them along the left side of the fairway here, too. I might want to bring some of them in a little bit closer to the green. Just to give you an idea what it looks like. Oh, hold on, guys. I got myself all twisted around here. As you can see, well, I got a dude standing in the bush. I don't know how that. I got people standing in, in trees, standing in the bush. So apparently, they can stand in the bush. So be careful where you put your bushes. I might have to change that. Or put your crowd, actually. All right. So I just wanted to start off with that. So it shows you how to put in your crowds. Some people wanted to see some of the cool things we got in the, the tools itself. So actually, you, got, you know, you go into the create NAD, place objects, create services, you can create waterways, tournament objects, tournament crowds. Tournament objects, obviously, you know, concessions, camera towers, crowd seating, blah, blah, blah. Create waters. Basically, that's how you would create a waterway. You have flat land. And of course, your global objects. And we'll start with, you know, obviously, the fences, stone walls, hedges. I thought that was cool that they put in. Um, and all these snapped together, guys. So that's the beauty. Uh, no longer taking all day long trying to line everything up. It will snap together for you. So that's real neat. So there's your fences. Your clubhouses. Which are about the same. I don't know why you go to that boy's house. You don't know if it's awake. It's ridiculous. Like that. All right. All mushrooms. All your shelters and gazebos. This is miscellaneous. Houses, guys. Now what? Huh? Don't worry about that right now. Get out of my face. Anyway, as you can see, they got houses in here, which is cool. Actual houses. So you guys can kind of see what they look like. A little bit more proportioned. Say these giant clubhouses we had to put in. And everybody's interested in this. Your cities. It's pretty cool, these city buildings. One of our members is going to try to build a course through the city buildings, which will be pretty neat. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of these. Lots of guys. I mean, really, you can really beef up your course, make it look real nice. Got your camera towers. 
sessions. Crowd seating. Remember trying to build these? <laughs> what a freaking nightmare, right? So now we got the crowd seating, so no more having to try to do that. So there's basically your those things and then oops, I think I got didn't mean to bounce out of there guys. And then all your furniture. A lot more benches to work with. Trash cans. Same two coolers. A couple more patio sets, which is nice. Use it on my Del Boca Vista course. More lights. Street lights. Which is gonna be cool when you're building your roads down to your down to your course. And then uh it's another cool thing, power lines and stuff. Come on, we see this all the time on courses, right? And you got little fountains. Really some nice stuff here. Add boards. Got a few more of those. Looks like the directional is about the same. Master signs. Got two, two sets of those. Markers. Road signs. Oh, how cool. I didn't even know that was in there. Car pass. Ah, oh, neat. Okay. Typical uh, golf, golf signs. Standalone bridges. So you guys can pull over to some waterway here. So you can kind of see what they look like. Yeah, the normal typical bridges that we had. Uh, this one looks like, oh, uh, see, that's nice. So, we got some more bridges. And then you got sectional bridges. That'll snap together. equipment, cards, all that good stuff, brakes, all the normal stuff, and then all your range stuff. Uh, we got a few more vehicles to work with, more boats, a couple more boats. Uh, I did notice for anybody who hasn't found this out yet, when you do bring your course over from, uh, from TCC1, some of these cars and boats have changed, so make sure you go through your course and make sure it, uh, and, and it will move them too. So not only will it change them, it'll put them in different directions and stuff. When I did this, it was a nightmare. When I did my clubhouse, cars were everywhere. So, and they were all like blue and white or whatever. So you would only go back and make sure you clean all that up. Got a helicopter for the helipad. Water planes, private jets, and got a little bit more choices than vehicles. Make your parking lots look a little bit better. Of course, all your animals, the birds, insects. They got bees, so watch out. Don't get stung. Crocodiles and snakes. Sea life, which is, I don't think we had that before, did we? No, I don't think so. Koi! And your global plants. Okay. Alright, now, we've got some themed objects, obviously. Trees, this is all pretty standard. Standard stuff. Trees went through all that. All right. <clears throat> yeah, surfaces, normal surfaces, and then you got your you can brush you can brush or spline your surface, which is cool. 
<clears throat> okay, we did the create water. We did the tournament objects. Of course, the out of bounds. Okay. And guys, the, the tool is very user friendly. Everything's right there. I mean, it's just super, super easy. There's land flattener. It's just, you know, everything's just right there. It's very user friendly. There's your environment, the backdrops, all your lightings. I like this that you can really mess with the lighting and the orientation a lot more so than we could before. And uh, there's your weather. You can add heavy haze or light haze, heavy fog. You can raise the fog, drop it. Really, really neat. So that gives you your fog intensity, your ceiling. Because that all depends on your environment too. So you gotta, your weather and your environment. You gotta make sure that it's all set right too. And same four things that we had before. Then you got the clouds. You got heavy. You, get, you do heavier clouds. You can do higher your clouds. You can drop them down. So see, for you guys on the West Coast, uh, you know you got a lot of courses like that with fog rolls in. Um, and then of course the scale of your clouds. Definition. I don't know what period it is. I guess it's long. Uh, it, that's how long it take to go across the screen. I guess it's hard to say. There's your weather. We did the lighting, right? Yeah, we did time of day. We did backdrop. We did environment, basically. And that's basically it, guys. Uh, your tea boxes. This is where you would do... Okay, to show you guys how to add your tea boxes and pins. Let's go to one of these. For example, you would go down to your tea box. Uh... And you, oh, I'm sorry, add a hole, and you would add T position. Once you do that, it gives you the option to move it to wherever you want. Now, obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my fairways up. Start distance is gonna go up, so I can move, so I can fit in some T boxes here. But that's basically how that works. And then when you get to the green, you add pin. You already got one. And then you get three more. And I like that it gives you the whole, a, a nice good chunk of the layout. So you can see exactly where that pin's going to be sitting. And you would just set the pin. Obviously, I'm not going to set a pin there, guys. Don't freak out. I'm just showing you. This particular green is probably not going to have too many different pin placements because it is roly-poly. But then you have your four. You know you got your four because when you try to put a fifth, Hear that noise? Okay, so that's that. Let's delete that. So that's basically how you do the extra pens and stuff. They'll give you the options. I think there's. Uh, let's take a look. that I said I said a pin on the freaking t-box there we go that'd be a short hole wouldn't it let's get out of that a T position and no hold on maybe on okay t-box setting there we go t markers okay I think this is like this because that's what I chose so once I once I set those four ten those four colors, that's what it gave me. But there's also red and there's green, so there's six of them. So you can you know set it up any way you want. And then here's your T markers. They gave us a couple more of these. I like those stone ones. I already got a plan for those. So these were normal, so I changed it to I changed it to those. Um, and of 
course your textures your shapes that's all the same that hasn't changed and then the size of your tee box and then of course your fairway start and I like you really good really can get down to you know point whatever yards so I mean you can really really tweak your course really nice they did a good job on that um let me see what else have we have not done let's see whole settings oh yeah not because I haven't done this yet but that's how you in order for your crowds to show up you will have to go to your tee boxes and turn your or, or the green and turn your crowd on toggle the crowd on or, or they won't show up so make sure you do that okay and then get your basic stuff right there See, what did I miss? We did environment, we did course settings, we did terrain settings, we did create an ad. We did, oh, well, we, I, so I kind of showed you the sculpt plan. It, it, this is, hasn't changed, guys. It's all the same. It's just easier to get to. Uh, and then, of course, your edit holes. We just went through that. So, it's like, you see, it's very basic, very easy. Um, you can move through it pretty quick. Um, the crowds is probably going to take some time. I think that's what's going to take most of my time. I think setting the tee boxes also, but the pin placements, you know, real quick, quick and easy. Because when you do your, when you do your tee boxes, obviously you're going to have to change your fairways a little bit. So that's going to take a little bit of time. But outside of that, I'm not adding much to this course. I liked it right out of the get go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the different tee boxes and pin placements and throwing the crowds i might add a little i think i did add like um let's see here on that first hole there was there was no waterway through here this was all land i ended up opening that up so the first hole comes down to that waterway i might end up putting up a boat or something in here so this will be the Pro Strokes Golf League's home course. This will be the one we play a lot of our tournaments on, so, or a lot of events on. So, that's pretty much it. Um, as you see on the right side. Oh, I meant to tell you that. On the right side, you see where it says uh, R3? This will tell you, okay, you can hide that. You can bring up your controls, or you can tell you the yardage, so you can kind of get an idea how 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 long your course is getting from each tee box. So that's kind of neat. I mean, obviously this was already created course, but you know when you're building it, that's a nice tool to have, so you can kind of get a better barometer. And you keep hitting the R three, and then you can do it by hole. So you know you got your tee boxes right, because I had my first ones wrong. I had the, I had the white and the black mixed up. They were backwards. So I had to go fix that. So it's kind of nice to know that you can't mess that up. And then you got here, you got, you know, your green height and all that stuff. Pretty much breaks it all down for you. Um, really, a little bit more detailed so you can really detail your course. So just wanted to get you guys on that. I forgot about that button. And that's it. That is it in a nutshell. There's not much to the course creator. Um, you know, I'm not a great course designer, so I'm not going to sit here and try to show you some, <laughs> some, how some of these tools work. Um, you probably want to watch somebody who's really good at it. So, but I just wanted to go through some of the tools that were inside of here um, for some of the guys who build courses. So, enjoy, guys, and see you soon.